Today I'm working on a D3B. This one ran ran kind of rough for a while and I finally pulled this fuel pump off and had it rebuilt. It had some broken parts in it. So I put nozzles and lines on it so it's pretty good shape now. But during that, you know, I didn't even realize that this tractor, the line that comes in is comes right here. Or actually it's this lower one. And it goes through this banjo fitting into this lift pump. Well, that banjo fitting has a screen in it. This little screen, and I poked a hole in it because it was all clogged up with stuff. I ended up buying a new one, putting it in there. But that little banjo fitting down there filtered all the fuel before it went through the lift pump, went back through the cat filter, and then back to the pump. So it was pretty stopped up. So uh, I didn't know that tractor was made that way until I pulled that apart. So I'm planning on putting one of these little, uh, this is the fuel line from the tank going over to the lift pump. I'm going to put a bracket right here and hang this, uh, one of these little Raycor water separator filters right here on that bracket. And it'll be under this floor plate, which, which lifts up. So you got a bunch of room in there and it's pretty well protected. But, uh, gee, I was really surprised at, uh, that that thing didn't have any better strainer before getting to the lift pump than that little tiny screen. I wonder how many 3204s and 3208s suffer from that. That's, that's kind of crazy. I mean, you see how little the screen is. It's just a little bitty, little bitty thing. It actually threads... This has female threads and it threads up into the banjo fitting so that's that's kind of goofy there but uh, so i'm gonna put a filter uh filter screen water separator before that whole setup there and uh should help out 